Hello, hello, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. I get asked all the time how I make the chord diagram graphics for my guitar lesson videos. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own chord diagrams with this free online chord diagram creator that is at the website chordpick.com. I also give away a free chord chart all the time called Chords with Color. There's tons and tons of chord shapes in there through a bunch of keys and amazing uh, voicings of chords. And I made that the long laborious way. That was before I discovered this resource. And boy, am I happy to have this as a resource. If I had to redo that chord chart, I would use this website chordpick.com. So now in all my videos, I use this. And I just want to walk you through some of the main features that I use. It's pretty straightforward, but um, I think that it might be nice to just see since I use it all the time, I want to show you the features uh, that I use. Some of the things that I really like and the way that I often use it. Let me let me spice up this chord a little bit actually. Um, like I'll put a note there and now it looks, you know, this is familiar as G, this looks unfamiliar. This is kind of my thing like what the chord chart that I made called Chords, chords with Color shows a bunch of options of chords with the uh, color tones added in with chord extensions added in. So that might be something like this. What I like to do is label, this is actually a little unconventional. This is intended most likely to put fingering numbers down, but I like to put the chord tone numbers down so I can have labels. And now you can see on the right side here, it's showing us what the actual chord is. So that's the one of the chord, the third of the chord. Unfortunately, because again, I don't think it's intended for the way I'm doing it. It's intended for fingers most likely. Um, I cannot put labels here, but you can X them out, which is nice. And a lot of the chords I play and teach are not open string chords. They're up the neck further. So I'll X out the strings that I'm not using. But now we can see, we can kind of get a little more um, uh, familiarity with what is going on with this chord. So this is G add nine. So you kind of see this G shape here and then there's a nine added. That's gonna be a beautiful chord. I love a good, in fact, I was just working on a song where I, this was, let me go back to this and close that out. This is the chord I was playing in the song. Uh, so it's G add nine. It's just a complete G chord, one, three, five, and then the nine is added up there, and it is so beautiful. Now with this chord diagram, I'll show you here. If I go to adding more frets, let's go up to uh, five frets. So now I'm going to, so I use this G, G add nine, and if I go to that chord and play it with a, D add nine, and now I'm going to, I'm just going, I'm just winging it here on the chord shapes, but this is a song I was playing earlier. So one, and this is three, and this is five, and this is nine here, and then that is also nine to open string, doesn't have to be there, we can do that. So same exact voicing actually, one, three, five, and then nine, that's what we were playing over just a second ago with the G add nine. So I got, go between this voicing and the G add nine, oh, it sounds so, beautiful and really fun to do some finger picking with that kind of thing. So um, so you can see you can stretch out the, um, the number of frets to really as much as you want. And let's have some fun with it here. Let's go to um, a big amount of frets and you, you can actually turn it on its side. And if you want it to get into some scale business and um, I use other resources for scales usually, but it is cool that you could do this if you want it to write out a C major scale here and you could then put the numbers or fingering numbers, whatever you want. You know, here I'm gonna go five, six, this is one and I missed putting seven there, but etc. So those are the scale degree numbers. And then you can also change colors. So if I want it to show that the roots are uh, put put them as red, which I often do. Now we can see that here. So I don't usually use it for scale diagrams, but you can see it's, you can rotate it and play with it that way. You could also do that and have it be a scale diagram. So it's especially if I filled out the rest of the numbers, it would be quite um, visually uh, useful to navigate. Uh, you can also change shapes. There might be a time where, where I play around with that, but you can click around and get a few shapes there if anyone wanted to do that. Very nice little reset button there so we can just reset. Let's go back to a normal number of frets for chords. And now let's go up to a higher fret position. So let's go to um, fifth fret position. And I wanna show you something very cool about this. 
we're going to play uh, an A dominant. How about we'll play A9? So this is A dominant 7 with a 9. Okay, so we are on the 5th fret here. So I'm, I'm going to bar the whole 5th fret. Oh, yes, that is really slick looking. So now this is A7. And now if I wanted to do my labeling system, it won't let me here. But I could do the fingerings. I say, okay, use your first finger there and then your third finger there, and then your middle finger there, and you're gonna bar an A dominant seventh chord. And then if I wanted to, I could write down the actual chord tones like I like to do over here. So that would be quite nice. And let's go ahead and do that. That's the fifth. This is the flat seven. You could also just put the string names if you're doing a different tuning or something. That's very, very useful there. And because it is because we are trying to go after A9, let's go ahead and add that nine there. And we'll say you have to use your pinky on that. And this is the nine of the chord. So now we have it here, A9. Um, very, very cool. Up the fretboard anywhere you want, showing bars in a really, really clean way. Um, you can label on the notes themselves for the fingers. You can label the strings and uh, get creative with it in various ways, rotate it, all of that. Now you can download at any uh, at many options of sizes, and I often just get at least a large one so I can use it in videos and have it uh, not be pixelated or something. But um, this is also really cool. If you can generate a share link, copy it, and then when you come back to it later, it's within this environment. It's on the actual. Uh, this this is really powerful. Or you can share it with a friend. Um, or you can, if you're playing with chords and making something, you can send it to me because I get questions all the time with people um, writing out fret by fret, note by note on the guitar. Hey, if I play this and if I do this, and I, I'm good for it. I can read through that and know what they're talking about. But it it if you send me one of these links, uh, it might be fun and it might be a little easier for both of us. Um, and hey, if you come up with some chords and throw one of these links in the comments, then other people can see what you're working on too. So, and it's totally free. Uh, there are more settings here. And this is where we can see that there's a pro version. And I don't know what else is in the pro version other than this hand-drawn. So it would give you a hand-drawn version. So very cool. It's very effective, uh, the free version. And then if you want a couple little extra perks, you can get a pro version. But uh, these extra settings, I don't uh, use at all. So, um, and they're very straightforward. If you played with them, you can thicken up the lines and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to show you that resource. If you want to get my Chords with Color chord chart, which again is just a massively uh, resourceful chord chart with a bunch of chords with the extensions added. So you might have this chord in there and you might even have, sometimes I'll, I'll write in, I'll write chord shapes that have uh, two options. I'll do it on this right now, where one of them is gray. And then I would say, this is the one I would do the, um, numbers so we can see there's a six, there's a nine, there's a five. So, and then this is the fifth of the chord down there. And that gray option can be interchangeable with the one. So I kind of like that. So this is C six, nine, sometimes with a slash, sometimes not either one C six, nine. So it's a C major chord with a six and a nine. So it's very cool, very colorful chord. But if you want to get that chord chart, there's a chord, there's a link in the top of the description for chords with color uh, that is totally free, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color. Uh, and I hope you find this valuable. If in the future you need to make a chord diagram for any reason, this is the resource that I recommend. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I put out a video every week, no matter what, every Tuesday I come out with a guitar lesson video. So I hope to see you in the next one. And in the future, if you're new here, please subscribe and can't wait to bring you more lessons coming down the road. Take care and happy practicing.